Hey guys, I'm going to show you how you guys can install and use the Pin Generator Chrome extension. So this is going to be a quick tutorial for you. Let's get into it. So here we are on the Pinterest marketing, uh, sorry, the Pin Generator page. Um, I'm going to leave some links below to this uh, Chrome extension as well as the download. So we can see the Pin Generator Chrome extension is available in the Chrome Web Store. Uh, you can simply add it to Chrome here by clicking this button. Uh, but this is version 1 and version 3 is uh, getting reviewed at the moment, so we're just waiting for that to be done. Um, so in the meantime, I'll link below the latest version uh, and you can get that if you like. So to do that, you can just grab the link that is below, which is here. You can paste it in to the browser. It'll show you that it's got a pin generator Chrome extension zip. You can simply download that. there then we can extract it now it's extracted so we've got the folder available here cool so now in your extensions and I went to this page by you can click on the puzzle piece your manage extensions it takes you here uh, then go load unpacked go to my desktop go to my Chrome extensions pin generator hyphen Chrome extension select boom okay cool it's been loaded in fine now we can go to any uh, URL, any website, and let's just refresh this. I use Shift Command R to reload and refresh the cache. Uh, so here we are. Cool. So now we can click the puzzle piece, and pin generators here is one of my extensions. Let's pin it so it's available here. And yeah, we can see that this has got this lady's got some uh, home decor stuff. Let's open up the extension click scan page and it'll find all the details of this page as well as all of the images it's just loading those so now what you can do is you can pick the images that you like you can select them all you can deselect them all let's pick a few nice ones one two three four six that's cool and you could edit this if you like uh, to make it better for you uh, you can, you've got the URL here you can edit if you like but you don't have to you can do it however you like and then description you can set your own description here description. just do that as a demo and when you're happy click the generate pins button so this will take you back to pin generator and you will have a bunch of pins that uh, generated for you uh, with the pictures you selected as well as the uh, data that you selected so you can edit it here you can reset it here you can update that that'll update your your text in the graphic you can also uh, use AI to rewrite stuff if you like and you can manage it accordingly yeah so you can set a whole bunch of uh, settings as you like them um, there's loads of templates to choose from of course as usual but yeah, that's the basis of how the extension works. So bear in mind why this is so powerful is that because a lot of sites uh, can block uh, your detection of images. So let's say if we put in this URL here just directly into Pin Generator, uh, it wouldn't be able to pick up the images uh, and text correctly from that site because of various security reasons. So this is really powerful for uh, sites like Instagram uh, as well as uh, let me just finish showing you here. You see, so this didn't detect the images properly. So that's when this is a great case and when you would use it with Instagram. So you can grab it from any Instagram profile. You can look at uh, even a hashtag on Instagram. You can uh, detect images from here. Oh, we need to reload the page because the extension was freshly loaded. So I'll reload the page and then we scan the page. So this is, you can, do it from any hashtag page, uh, basically from any web page. So this is great for like Instagram, for Pinterest. Let's say we're here and we want to grab a whole bunch of images and stuff from, uh, I have to search lights design. So let's say we want to do that. We can grab a whole, oh, same thing. I'm going to reload the page. And then it'll scan the page. Uh, and you could grab a whole bunch of images that you like for light design. Let's say you're on your own profile too. If you're on your own profile, you can 
Uh, this is a great way to recycle your images and reuse your images in different templates. So you could scan your profile and then uh, export that to Pen Generator for use in different templates. Uh, it's also quite useful with sites like Zazzle because uh, this is they have some security restraints, uh, and if you know you can go to any web page on Zazzle and simply scan the page, and you'll get all the images that you want from it. So yeah, so that's a really quick tutorial on how to use the extension. Uh, the links will be down below, and I hope that helps. Cheers.